There's several ways that you can set the table up. So normally it comes in a, in a fairly normal um, setup with 40, 40 uh, mil uh, sections on the main body of the table. We also produce 25 mil sections. So we're going to look at um, setting up for a gynae procedure, ideally for day case. And the optimum idea is to make sure that the patient's head is accessible for the anaesthetist when using a laryngeal mask or a laryngeal airway. Okay, here we have a normal ta uh, table set up, uh, ready for sort of gynaeology or urology as the table would normally come. So from the main body of the table, uh, we have two 40 sections and a head section, and you might finish this off with a 25 section at the end. Um, and, and this is how most people would buy and configure the table. This is great for something like urology because you have the patient right off the end of the table and you've actually got access. Or there's a second pelvic cut out here where you can actually take the section out, put an, an infill section in here and then you can actually have the patient close to the table and the idea is to make the, the, the table smaller. So if we show you this setup with the patient uh, to see what it looks like, you'll see why sometimes your needs just complain and they have a lot of difficulty with tables. We have someone on, on the table using the lightweight leg section, which you've just seen uh, put into place. And the idea, from a point of view, from an anaesthetist with the laryngeal mask uh, airway, is they need access to the head at all times. So the table is normally on a 30 degree um, tilt to so the patient sitting up, and they want the head on the head section. You can see now that the table is far too long. Okay, so the ways that we deal with that, I'm just going to show you. Talking about some options to shorten the table, if we take, if I just show you now, if I take the lightweight leg section out and I remove the 40 section from the table, we also have the option of a short 25 section. Okay, so at the moment I've put one short um, pelvic section in, into the table. So now uh, the table is shorter, but now if you look at the position that our model is in, the uh, head is still nowhere near the head section. So if you were doing day case surgery and you were using a laryngeal mask, you could put a 25-30 uh, degree tilt on, on, on the back section of the table, but you still haven't got full control of the patient's head. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another 25 uh, section in, instead of the 40 section for the back, and we can show that then how we can shorten the table to make it easy for the anaesthetist. Okay, this is the table set up with 25 sections on it instead of 40 sections. So a short 25 uh, bottom section and a short 25 upper section. It takes quite a lot of the size off, off of the table and it gives the op opportunity for the anaesthetist just to have more control of the Okay, this is uh, the gurney position with the stirrups in place. Uh, uh, I'm just going to take the lightweight leg section off and you can see nothing, nothing has really changed. We've moved the patient down the table a little bit more, but we still have control of the head. and then you can move the patient into position and the anaesthetist still maintains control of the head.